we're back on. We have thought the former County Non Star couldn't be any more rebellious. We have thought she had taken us by surprise in every conceivable manner when she got her nose pierced, or posted in a revealing swimsuit, or offered a W based bedroom giveaway. But now, Jill Duggar and Derek Dillard have confessed to maybe the gravest sin the former's parents could ever imagine their child committing. They have admitted to using birth control. In a new Q&A video posted to YouTube on Wednesday morning, the parents of two once again opened way up about various aspects of their personal life, including what they do when visiting Pound Town. We use birth control, but we prefer to use non-hormonal birth control methods because we don't want to use anything that could potentially cause an abortion," said Jill in this video. I think there are probably uses for hormonal birth control for like regulating things and stuff like that," she added. But for us we just want to be careful about that. This of course is an enormous change from how Jill was raised. Her controlling parents, Jim Bob and Michelle, do not believe in the use of birth control or in the idea of sexual intercourse for the sake of pleasure. It's all about procreation in the minds of these conservative reality stars. But Jill is making it more and more evident these days that she doesn't give a you-know-what about what her mother and father think. We're more natural-minded and sometimes there can be more longer-lasting effects from hormonal birth control and stuff like that, so we just steer clear of those," Jill continued on this topic. Eventually we want to have more kids and stuff, lord willing, so we don't want to mess too much with all of that and potentially cause problems. Jill and Derek have a 3-year-old son and a 5-year-old son and have actually hinted in the past that they may be done having children. Duggar says otherwise here, but she also emphasizes that it will only happen on their timeline. We'll probably stop using birth control whenever we want to get pregnant, said Derek. Jim, Bob and Michelle for their part suffered a miscarriage after welcoming their first child many decades ago, with a tragedy afflicting the couple after Michelle had been using the pill. They saw the loss as a sign from God and gave up birth control thereafter. Elsewhere, the spouses seemed to break from their family when it came to their views on the LGBT community. At one point, they answered a viewer question about whether they have non-Christian friends and are accepting of gay people. Yes, we have lots of non-Christian friends, Derek replied. We have friends that are part of the LGBTQ plus community. I think it's a misconception that just because you disagree with someone that you can't be friends. And in light of the recent passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I think Justice Scalia and Justice Ginsburg's relationship in the legal profession was a good example of that. From what I hear, they had a great relationship despite having sharp disagreements at times. Props to Derek there for making a timely comment, but let's never forget, he was fired by TLC for making anti-transgender remarks over and over again aimed at fellow network reality star Jazz Jennings. As Christians, we believe that there are certain things that are sinful, like adultery or sex before marriage, or homosexuality, said Jill. Those are things that we believe are sinful. Wait, so the couple does or does not think homosexuality is a sin? They do, as Jill explains, but there are lots of things that are sinful too, so it doesn't mean that we might not be friends with people because ultimately we're all sinners. If I'm around somebody, they might know what I believe, but that doesn't mean I'm just gonna rub it in their face all the time either. So I have friends who I hanged out with, and we do not agree on everything. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.